morning everyone i'm not sure what day it is but good morning i think all of us uh have a very intense week every time there's a sea trade conference and i think it's much it's more important for me to first just tell you thank you for finding a way to spare this half an hour with us because i know your schedules are very compressed and you have a lot of things going on so you really honor us uh, <coughs> To come here and do that with us this morning and we promise we'll make it worth your while my comments are very brief one sentence you've heard the phrase if it's not broken don't fix it ours is a little different if it's not broken make it better and I think we've demonstrated that over the last 10 years and certainly over the last 18 months and certainly over the last few weeks. So today there's another extension of making it better. I want to introduce to you, and I could say he's my favorite boss of my entire career, but I then insult Mr. Vago, who's been my boss also for the last 10 or 12 years. So I'm going to say it this way. My current favorite boss, the CEO of MSC Cruises, Mr. Gianni Onorato. Gianni. Buongiorno, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Obviously, my favorite uh, current uh, employee is Nick <laughs> Sasso. I would say, in, if I were in Germany, I would say, uh, I would say a different name, huh? but, uh, okay, so good morning. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, in order to, to help out with my poor English, uh, I will try to, to be helped by some slides that uh, we have the chance to, to go through together. Uh, and uh, today, uh, you know, this is uh, for the second time uh, at Sea Trade that, uh, in a way, we are talking about MSC, about the plans of uh, development of MSC in uh, North America, and also we are talking about uh, about seaside. And uh, this is uh, so every time we are talking about a different aspect, or better to say, different step uh, forward of our uh, growth in uh, North America. Now, MSC uh, is uh, the world's largest private-owned cruise line. Uh, this means that uh, it's uh, a lot of things. It means also the way we are, the way we act, the way we take decisions, the way that also we confront ourselves uh, with competition, and the way that also we serve and uh, we deliver the products to our customers. Uh, using uh, uh, um, MSC uh, uh, desire to grow, we have been able uh, today to reach uh, the leadership uh, in some regions of the world. In 2015, for the first time in our history, MSC has become uh, the, uh, the leader on uh, cruising in Europe. Uh, we were already leaders in South America and in South Africa. And uh, we are going more and more to grow. We have the, one of the most modern fleet. The average age of our uh, fleet is uh, 7.4 years. So, and uh, at the moment, we are the largest uh, and, uh, uh, let's say, the, 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 the youngest fleet uh, in, uh, uh, in the industry. At the same time, we're looking ahead. So we have seven new ships uh, in order, uh, seven new ships, two different prototypes, uh, which uh, will bring MSC to practically double the number of guests by 2021. So we'll be reaching 3.5 million guests every year. Uh, 2015 was a good year, we are not a public company, so we had no obligation into, uh, uh, into communicating our numbers, but the numbers are good, why not? Okay, 2015 has been a good year. Uh, 2016 will be better than last year, mm, so we are not bullish uh, in a way, but uh, this is a fact. Uh, MSC brand is growing and improving. Uh, in, uh, in many areas, we are more and more expanding our reach in terms of uh, uh, itineraries and programs. Uh, we are focusing a lot in, uh, in uh, one of the market that is the most important market in the world, but just due to our need uh, to become leader at home before uh, uh, 
playing uh, a more important role uh, um, outside uh, of our home. Uh, this year, um, we will have a definite step forward to grow more and more in the Caribbean. We are actually, Divina is now on year-round cruises. Uh, we are starting, we have open sales for, uh, for Seaside. Uh, we have now our uh, cruise terminal <coughs> financial berth in uh, Miami. We have now our uh, Ocean Cayman River Reserve, which will allow us to have unique destinations to our guests. We have now additional ATVs in the Caribbean, um, uh, either uh, from Cuba, uh, the moment for the time being not yet open uh, to, <coughs> uh, to North Americans, but hopefully it will be soon. Uh, at the same time, we have uh, uh, one ship out of Martinique and Guadeloupe and uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, and we're going to add the second ship to Cuba starting from December 2016. South America, we are the leaders and we are strengthening our presence there as well. We have developed, for the first time, we will have a Fantasia class in the, in the Gulf, in the Middle East, sailing out of Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And then in China, finally, we will have, starting from May the 1st, our MSC Lyrica, which has been totally refurbished to fit with the, the Chinese taste, will be sailing out of Shanghai for the first time. MSC is also a, a typical because we do everything in-house. We don't have outside the, the partners or concessionaires managing our services on board. We want to have a full control of our product, but at the same time we know that we cannot be the best expertise in all the fields, so our strategy is to, to uh, ask for help. So we have decided so to have uh, one on one side. We are trying to, to pass the, uh, you know, the, the message and also to, uh, 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 to execute uh, uh, through our experience uh, 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 the, the values uh, and the passion of a, of a family heritage into, uh, into hospitality. At the same time, we have uh, decided that uh, we needed to have uh, partners with us, and which must be the best in class in their, uh, uh, in their, uh, in their areas. So that's why we, have, uh, uh, we are closing very important long-term uh, strategic uh, partnerships, uh, either with, uh, with the big <coughs> companies, like Lego, for example, for the family uh, product, like Lego and Kiko, in technology, we have signed an exclusive 10 years long-term agreement with Samsung Technologies worldwide, and they are the ones taking care of whatever refers to technology on board, either related to services, either related to simple technology, uh, apps, uh, and even the services, which uh, we don't have time to go in details, but also very fun and very uh, enjoyable for our customers. We have uh, signed up uh, a long-term agreement, an exclusive agreement with Cirque du Soleil, investing on the new Meraviglia class ships uh, on one launch of uh, almost 500 seats uh, where there will be a show and dining experience uh, with Cirque du Soleil with the two exclusive shows uh, uh, per ship uh, uh, that people can find only on MSC. Uh, and then we just launched uh, two weeks ago a new experience, uh, uh, as we call it, a new way of, uh, of delivering services uh, in a package that the guests can buy uh, together with uh, uh, when they're buying or they're choosing uh, the cabin categories, which uh, is the wellness experience, uh, which is powered by technology, which uh, uh, engages guests during uh, the cruise, but also uh, uh, when uh, the sh outside of the ship uh, when they are on, uh, on shore excursion. So strategic partnership that uh, obviously could not avoid thinking about dining. Um, we are uh, Mediterranean. Uh, we are, so the expression, let me say, of people who love food and who love good food and who love also different food. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's natural, our commitment to, to good dining, to fine dining, and uh, to, uh, to, to have good new experiences on, on our ships. But we also want to respect our strategy of being a global company, a company uh, where the only brand which is present on different uh, markets, okay? Some other 
uh, group store uh, uh, have chosen to have different brands, we're using only one brand to do that. In order to do that, we needed to look at different uh, level of experiences. So what we have done, for example, in, <coughs> we have taken in uh, uh, partners, uh, or celebrity chefs. Celebrity chefs which are helping out to pass the message of how global MSC is. So obviously we've looked at Italy and Carlo Cracco is uh, the Michelin star chef in Italy. is very famous also because he has been running. Uh, they find him uh, very attractive. Uh, it's the, the one on the left side. Uh, he's been running uh, for years now. Uh, you know, it's the, it's the, the leader sh leading chef for master chef, so he's very popular. Uh, uh, um, and uh, obviously an Italian cannot be missing. Uh, we have uh, also uh, have had, uh, now we've launched a partnership with uh, for for the pastry section uh, of our uh, product, which is Philippe Mori, Jean Philippe Mori as well, <coughs> is a French chocolatier. Although his uh, main successes have been uh, established in 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 US, and he is. Uh, uh, again, uh, having a big role uh, not only on the new ships and MSC Malavilla, but also on MS, presently on MSC Divina. We are looking at uh, Asia more and more, and also for China, all our product of MSC Lyric has been designed by Jeremy Loing. Jeremy Loing is uh, a Hong Kong chef uh, who has been uh, is very successful uh, in, uh, in China and in, in, in Hong Kong, and he's helping in that direction. We don't forget, although we're global, uh, in a way we are Swiss because the company is based in Switzerland, we cannot forget we are Italians. So Italy has been uh, <coughs> the natural uh, partnership, uh, is the, world, uh, the world's uh, largest Italian marketplace. So it's mixed of uh, good food, of uh, uh, natural and biological food, with uh, organic food, with uh, also a shopping, a food shopping experience on our ships. And I think this is uh, quite unique. And then, um, obviously, <coughs> that's why we are here today. We're also looking at something which uh, is also raising uh, uh, even more uh, the quality and also the, 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 uh, our uh, ability to present chefs, uh, celebrity chefs who are really uh, giving us, uh, uh, giving MSC uh, a further enhancement of, our, of, our, of the quality and the excellence of our brand. And that's why today, I'm very happy to introduce uh, Chef Roy Yamaguchi, who is here with us. He's, uh, uh, is, uh, 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 a very, very, really, really a star. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, all chefs are stars, but there is somebody who is more star than others. Uh, he's uh, an international culinary pioneer. Uh, he has done uh, uh, things that uh, go a little bit beyond the normal, the normal cuisine. He is very popular in North America because he has a, a number of restaurants all spread around the, the country. He lives in a nice place because he lives in Hawaii, in Honolulu, uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's also been engaged a lot with, uh, with TV, and uh, so this makes him very, very popular. Uh, and uh, was very popular not only in North America, but in uh, multiple countries, uh, 60 countries, uh, as you can see here. And uh, he, he has also published a number of uh, successful cook cookbooks. So what uh, uh, Roy will be doing with us, uh, and then I give him uh, up to him so he can be uh, uh, more precise on that. Uh, we want him to bring a Pan-Asian culinary experience on our ships. So he will uh, participate to design to the design of the ambience of, uh, of the of the areas. He will uh, uh, he will uh, design all the menus. He will train the chefs in order to implement the uh, uh, the menus the way that he has uh, defined. And uh, he, he also with the uh, uh, main actor of what we want to pass with. Uh, um, with, uh, with MSC Seaside, which uh, <coughs> can have really a different experience. So uh, together with uh, uh, what uh, um, Roy will be doing, a, a steakhouse uh, that uh, we do think that uh, is a fine dining place, uh, which will be managed by Roy, but together with that will be also a teppanyaki area and the sushi area as well. So it's an area quite uh, uh, extended area. Uh, so it will be one uh, of the most popular spots uh, on the ship. And uh, he, is, uh, <coughs> he will be managing this area. And 
uh, and uh, I'm sure this will be uh, really one of the highlights of our uh, beautiful MSCC site. And by the way, if you have if you have not done it yet, please go to Think and Theory booth uh, uh, because there is a beautiful ship model there that uh, is really fantastic and really depicts uh, the way that the ship will look like. But now let's let me have the pleasure to introduce our friend Roy Yamaguchi. Thank you. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe last year sometime I had gone to uh, Geneva to uh, meet uh, Mr. Orr and uh, we had a conversation and at that time uh, I was very very impressed uh, by not only but also they wanted to listen to what I had to say about putting this dining experience <clears throat> so naturally um, you know we're, we're my whole thing is all about giving a great experience to individuals that come and dine. And that's what MSC does. So I thought it would be a great fit for me to bring this vision of, of this Aupua, which is this, this land division in Hawaii that's been going around for, 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 for hundreds and hundreds of years. But basically it's about, you know, you take care of the land and then the land takes care of the sea. So I thought to myself on land, but now, to do this restaurant at sea, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to showcase uh, something that I've been doing for the past 30 years, but yet put it on a nice ship. So anyways, uh, the restaurant's been for the last 30 years, but basically go beyond that. So we're going to be taking it certain, but yet that's traditional Japanese. But what I want to do is do something that's very, very... Um, so-called uh, cosmopolitan, uh, very contemporary, and uh, fit it into what I do in the type of cooking that I do. So we're going to be doing it Tepan uh, style cooking, but we're going to add flares like Korean, Vietnamese, um, Malaysian, uh, my style of cooking into the Tepan because I've been cooking or using that soup, serving this kind of electric uh, type of cooking, and, and our guests will be able to would like at the table side. So we'll have a nice dining room, Euro Asian um, <clears throat> Pacific Rim type of cooking. And then the third element to this dining experience, of course, would be the, uh, the so-called raw bar or the sushi bar or the sashimi counter where people can go and have traditional uh, Japanese sushi, but yet be able to have our contemporary rolls that we've been doing at Roy's. So what we're doing is taking the Roy's element uh, of dining and bringing it to another level and yet at the same time flair to to what I do which has been more of a uh, uh, Hawaiian fusion type cooking so I'm looking really looking forward to um, having this endeavor only because um, as I mentioned when I first met <clears throat> with the MSC uh, team um, I started to build the kitchen as we spoke so I had brought operate and how the kitchen should be and then from that point on we've been building on this so uh, tomorrow actually I'm going to meet with the the, uh, the so-called architects and the interior designers to really pick out the interior that I feel best that would represent my face uh, to, to, to showcase uh, who, who I am you know and, and at the same time uh, you know the, the overall aspect is, is very, very important to me. So I want to make sure that, that everything that I want in a restaurant is going to be duplicated at sea from our china to our <clears throat> flatware to our uniforms, the music, and uh, the way the restaurant's going to feel and look. And uh, of course, I'll be on board to, uh, to do some uh, cooking on the, you know, on the ship, and then I'll bring my crew to uh, to help manage uh, and to make sure that the quality is uh, is always there. So, uh, look, really looking forward to it. So, thank you for the opportunity, and I, and it's going to be a great partnership. So, so anybody that wants to go on a cruise, jump on that jump on that ship and just go for it. <laughs> <laughs>
Roy, thank you. It's a pleasure to be even sitting close to you and being at the same table with somebody with your notoriety and experience. Um, we're going to do a quick uh, Q&A, but, but so I don't forget, at 11.30, and I think every, you all have that on your calendar already, at least on your schedule, at 11.30, I think we're one floor up for the cooking demonstration, and that's in room 316. So please, whether you're walking the floor or you've got other things going on for the rest of the day, I think it would be really special for you to attend that 1130 cooking demonstration. It's going to be something unique that's probably not happened at Sea Trade in quite some time. So we're going to do a, a little q and I don't know how much time, but we want to get you all out of here by 830, so I think we're pretty close to being on time for that. I'm sorry, nine o'clock. <laughs> Thanks for staying. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of moderate and open some questions up for Gianni and Roy because I think these are, again, an extension of all the things that we've been doing. This is just another one of those things that make it more special for us to kind of tell our... Can I ask a question? <laughs> yes, go ahead. No, uh, we're still working on the name. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's one of these processes where you know, I mean, I, I, I'm what I'm what I'm doing is uh, you know, picking out the china and, and the uniforms and making sure that all, this all fits. And then once I figure and, and get everything planned, and then we'll you know, the name is going to be it's going it's to come up pretty fast after that. So. Yes. Well, for us, uh, for, for our Pan Asian restaurant, we're, so that's why it's really important that, you know, we have about two years uh, to work on this. So we've been working so far with the food and beverage department at the, and also the urgency. So as we continue to move on, we'll be working with sources and, and, and planning out different menus and, and trying to source out the products as we continue to move on. Okay, but will you Well, I, I would like to, but uh, I'm, I'm sure, you know. And local, obviously local. Yeah. I mean, we follow, uh, we follow Roy's desires. <laughs> so, first of all. The second one is the ship will be based in, my, in Miami. Uh, um, I hope for the next uh, 50 years. So, uh, so I mean, uh, Miami, I think it's uh, a location which will allow us uh, really uh, to Yes, James. Yes, um, I noticed that, that uh, Chef Roy, you're going to be in this ship in Seaside in Miami. Is there a plan to uh, extend your partnership to other ships in the MSD fleet um, beyond this one ship and then into the future and then maybe going back to some of the previous ships? Or are you going to be, this is one of the experiences you can only get. Uh, out of this um, this seaside, this first seaside watch in Miami. Well, that's going to be up to the uh, <clears throat> to our CEO to decide. <laughs> well, well, we can, we, we can decide right now if you want. If he's rich, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's very that's very simple. You know, it's like a marriage. You know, that we have initiated. Uh, uh, it's a professional uh, uh, marriage. So uh, I, I think that the big difference with the seaside is that uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, for the first time, at least in our case, I don't know about the other cruise line, uh, we draw in the signing in the area. So that's very important because we want this really to be the expression of his culinary art and, all, uh, and the, the culinary experience that uh, he wants to deliver. So we, we do have a, a big trust in him and, and, uh, and we are confident that uh, if this uh, uh, this, this will work out well, and only our guest uh, will be the judge for it. Uh, uh, why not? Uh, well, MSC has seven ships uh, uh, to come, and we have 12 ships in the fleet, uh, and uh, why not? Uh, this, this is something that is just a first step uh, of uh, hopefully a future long-term cooperation. Do you know at this time if the venue will cover um, carry a cover charge or will be on the The venue will cover a cover charge. Okay. Yeah, we'll have a cover charge, yes. Thanks so much. Cindy. Yes, 
Okay, great. The cover charges that will be involved for the restaurant uh, will be part of your um, different four packages as far as the pricing. This is this is correct. Yes, there will be the opportunity. I mean, to, to choose among different packages, and you know, let me see. We have these uh, systems of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the pricing by experience. So according to the level of experience you choose, this is a way for us to segment our customers and also to to better guide the different segments of customers, the different targets to live uh, at best uh, uh, the way that uh, they are used to, to live their holiday. Will you limit the, the offerings to the specialty restaurant or will you have selected dishes, for instance, in the restaurant for the Yacht Club? We, we will, uh, we will uh, limit uh, it uh, into, into the restaurants, into the specialty restaurants uh, for, the, for the time being. Yeah, that's what we have decided. It's also a matter of, uh, of uh, training you know, to, uh, to our chefs. Uh, and, uh, and so we do think also because the, the number of seats uh, covered all together will be uh, more than, uh, than 200 if we comprise the, the Paniaki area, the sushi, and, uh, and the restaurants there. So it's already quite uh, uh, in a, good, a big number. So we, we do think that uh, we will start from there. Uh, hey, this question is for Roy. Uh, I was wondering if you had picked the brains of other chefs who've ventured into the cruise market, um, and if, what lessons you might have learned from that, if you had. Well, uh, yes, I do have friends, that, but basically, uh, you know, the great thing about this, the great thing about this opportunity is that we're building it from ground up. It's not, we're not taking something that was built and trying to correct some of the. We're working with, as I mentioned, uh, you know, back in San Francisco, I met with the uh, kitchen designer. So we went to the restaurant the way that I feel comfortable in the way that I feel would best fit our type of cooking. So, so uh, a, a position where we're just, uh, you know, I'm going in and, you know, basically taking over someone's mess. Uh, basically, we're starting from scratch. We're building something very, very special. And, and, and we're gonna make sure that as we continue to work on this process, we're gonna select the chinas, we're gonna select the flatware and, and the dining experience that I want them to have. So, so that's extremely different from the approach that's been so-called um, you know, uh, brought on board to, to take over an operation that might have not worked. And uh, you know, it's up to them to try to fix it. So, so I've been very, very fortunate with Yeah, um, just a couple of photo opportunities. I think in Terry Booth, as Mr. Naranto said, down, uh, I think it's on the lo first level first on the south side of the building, Fink and Terry, to take some photo ops of the seaside. Certainly at 1130, uh, in room 316 on the third floor, just right above this escalator, and make sure we have press information, because what we need is for people to help us tell the story to get it out there that Roy is going to have this fantastic operation on this fantastic so I think we we need to start getting the word out so we can have people who want to choose to sail with MSC because it's Seaside because it's Roy's uh, program and all the other things that we're doing so we can't do that alone we need the voice of the press to help us tell those stories in profound words in nice photo op stories so take pictures Tell the story for us. We need your help to get the message out because these are great, great things that we're doing. Rick, uh, Roy, how big is your team that you're bringing on board Seaside to set up the operation? How often will you be on board the ship? Well, we haven't really decided exactly the, the number and, and how long, but uh, the entire process starts from the beginning. And, and the way it starts is that we'll be sending a team to Seaside over to Hawaii to work with me. And, and we're gonna go through this process of identifying, you know, what, what we feel that's gonna work, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's gonna be a long process. And then from that point on, what we'll do is we'll bring a team out from, uh, from Hawaii onto the ship, and then we'll be able to uh, work with the team that's on the ship. And then, and then from that point on, uh, between my, myself and, and, and um, 
point because it depends it is going to be determined by how far we going to be able to really work with the team that we're at MSC to uh, convey our 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 um, our um, and of course, you know, since the cruising is probably going to be great, I'll uh, probably be on board more than I should. <laughs> Please, thank you again from all of us. And I want a special thanks to Hans Hesselberg, our senior vice